live from Midtown Manhattan, the Cube's live coverage of Big Data NYC, a Silicon Angle Wikibon production, made possible by Hortonworks, We Do Hadoop, and Wham Disco, Hadoop Made Invincible. And now your co-hosts, John Furrier and Dave Vellante. Hi, everybody. We're back. This is Dave Vellante at Wikibon.org. And I'm here with Jeff Kelly, who's the lead big data analyst also at Wikibon. We're here at Big Data NYC, right on 6th Ave at the Warwick Hotel, right across from the Hilton, where Stratacomp and Hadoop World are going on. This is our fourth year of covering uh, this event. Uh, we're at a remote location this year. We've got some great guests coming in. Uh, so it's been really exciting. Ben Haynes is here. He's the CIO of Box. Ben, great to have you on the Cube. Thank you. Great to be here. Newbie, first time on the Cube, right? Yep, first time. Awesome. Well, we really appreciate you taking the time out and uh, so and, and relatively new to Box as well. So congratulations on that move. Thank you. So, um, so what's happening there? Give us a quick update. Uh, lots going on. Uh, four months of Box. Um, for me, my first role in the tech sector, so it's uh, been an interesting ride uh, after many years in CPG space. Um, but yeah, we're, Box is growing fantastically and uh, up to nearly uh, probably 900,000 people. Uh, so we're, ge we're getting big and, and lots happening. That's 900 to 1,000. Yeah. You're not quite at 900,000 yet. No, no, no. <laughs> that's, uh, that's in the plan. <laughs> Good. So how did you find that transition from consumer packaged goods to high tech? A little bumpy at the start. Um, wh what I found <coughs> interesting was that even though it's consumer tech, we still have the same issues as a CIO. So we have lots of systems. We have, you know, to get the business done, we have lots of data and lots of challenges. And so while we might solve them a little bit differently, uh, a few high level discussions, let's say, with our, with our tech folks, we um, we have the same issues, so lots to work through. So, how much is domain expertise, you know, a critical success factor for the CIO? Would you say it's relatively low on the on the list of skills that you need? <coughs> no, I think it's actually pretty high, and that was one of my biggest concerns. And and a, a personal You're nervous about that coming over. Yeah, right? yeah, it was one of my my personal challenges was how do I make that jump because. In the CPG space, I had 12 years, you know, I understand the route to market. Had a network. Had the network, you know, rode the delivery trucks, worked out, you know, understood end-to-end -end how things got done. So big jump, big concern, and um, a lot, spending a lot of time with the business and, and getting up to speed as fast as I can. So um, while we're here at uh, Hadoop World, right, uh, mm -hmm. so where are you at with that whole big data trend, what do, what do you make of what's going on? Um, how much have you had, uh, dug into it and you know, what are you doing here? Yeah, so I've dug in quite a bit, especially over the last two years, I guess, there, there's been a lot of hype and it's, it's probably growing a bit. And um, the key for me is looking at how do we help the business? How do we move the business forward? And, and can the, the big data space help us do that? And so I classified it, especially at PAPS before for Box, I didn't have a big data issue but I had data issues, and, and there's still probably a lot of arguments around what big data really is, and it means different things to different people. Uh, to me, it's about solving a problem, and so we, we have data challenges, um, for sure, at, at Box, and dealing with a lot of siloed solutions. We're not maybe dealing with you know, huge amounts of data, and I'm talking about the enterprise, not, not the Box platform. We have big data in that, for sure, but um, running the enterprise, we have lots of SaaS silo solutions, Best, best of breed, how do we bring all that together and make sense of things? So I'm looking at analytics tools, and, and that's really where big data, where the rubber hits the road for big data, is getting to actually making insights from that information. And, and, and talk about the nature of the, the data challenges, because data challenges used to be, oh, I got so much data, it's so expensive to store, I got to back it up, I got to replicate it. I mean, all this sort of black blocking and tackling and insurance mm -hmm. related issues or cost. Yeah, it, it feels like you know the hype has, has at least flipped the mindset. Hey, think about data as you know a, a revenue source or a source of competitive advantage, uh, and that's why people get so excited about it. Yeah, um, and it is so hype. But but there seems to be some merit to that bit flip uh, as well. There is some merit, and the interesting thing for me though is we've <coughs> always, at least through my career, we've always had that thought pattern. It, it wasn't just about storing data. Uh, that becomes irrelevant and there's no value to the business. So what I'm hoping and, and seeing out of some of these tools is we make the, the barrier to entry a little lower, get our costs a bit lower so we, yeah, we don't have to worry about you know, storing all this stuff on really expensive 
proprietary hardware. Um, and, and getting to those business answers a lot, lot quicker. So that's where I see the, the big data space helping us. Um, but I'm st there's still a lot of hype. And, and the, the cost of doing that is a change in mindset, change in skills. So we need a whole different type of person now. Um, I've, I've seen a few traditional data people you know, working in the SQL world just not make the jump across. They can't get their head around this unstructured and no SQL and all of that space. It's got to be acid compliant. And yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> so it's a very, very different mindset. And ultimately, we can actually drive that from the business people, though, because they're getting demanding. Mm -hmm. um, they've already always been demanding. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but, yeah. but the speed to deliver is the number one thing that uh, I'm looking at and how can we bring on new tools to help that happen. Well, and as costs come down, it becomes yep. the technology becomes more accessible to, to business people. It definitely it, does, but it and doesn't... And then they get really dangerous. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it doesn't become valuable until you can get insight from that. Because uh, until you do that, it's just data. And, you know, you might get it to some information, and then how do you really get to insight on that? So one, one big tool I've been looking at is a way to, to cleanse that and get it in and, and, and um, make it usable and prepared for an analyst to use. And that's uh, a, a key input for us because you can put the prettiest graph up and all the latest visualizations. It doesn't mean anything. Well, if the automating the cleansing and the preparation. Yeah, automating and, and pushing through. Um, also enabling. So an automating on the desktop and enabling our business people to cleanse. The guys we had on yesterday do this. Yes, Paxata. We were talking about them offline. Paxata, yeah, right. Paxata. Okay, yeah. great. So All right, Ben Haynes, CIO of Box. Thank you very much for coming on theCUBE. Really appreciate your time. All right, keep it right there, everybody. We'll be back with Big Data NYC. This is theCUBE.